flying over the Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet, approaching Soviet airspace. Arriving at the designated drone launch point. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload any three systems shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Hmm. Let's hmm. just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today, Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. Hmm. No? This morning, oh. I had a meeting with the CIA. <laughs> they decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Uh-oh. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. <laughs> Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive <laughs> the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. I should have you contacted you myself. One of our soldiers <laughs> defected to your country a week ago. Foghorn Langhorn? No. So you haven't heard that. <clears throat> the man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Uh, of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean the boss? The mother of your special forces? The mother yeah, of the special forces? One. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, 
the box with Colonel Volgen's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top-secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. I'm afraid so. And the American government <laughs> denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. Sightseeing, how and about that? And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. Hmm. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then you must find <coughs> some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? <coughs> yes, preferably something <laughs> painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volgan is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. Hmm. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volgan as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It means nothing. Right. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. Hmm. To put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale <laughs> nuclear conflict, we oh, have to prove boy. that America was not involved <clears throat> in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. See, no... Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. Hmm. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. Hmm. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Volgin's ranks. Also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. You know, I realize Snake grew a beard. <laughs> Control. Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude 30,000 feet. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing <laughs> south. I'm about to lose it.
All right. <laughs> Again, I like to be quiet just so you guys could get ensconced with the um, with the cutscenes and all. So that is our mutual respect. <laughs> Alright. This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. <laughs> Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod. Then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss? This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. Hmm. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Yep. Demand? Yep. You mean it wasn't just a request? Nope. What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? Yep. It came out last year. I oh, must have missed that one. Anyway. It's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. Tom, Dick, and Harry. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But... But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels that was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In <laughs> fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency <laughs> is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the virtuous mission. 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same, 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. Hmm. No one else would dare come close. The password is, Who are the Patriots? And Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission <clears throat> from the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. All right. So, all those people that he just said, 
right? Just press down on your D-pad, and boom. All that is there. All right? Cool. Um, but hold on. And that is the 45 that he was talking about. That is a, yep, 1911A1. Stun grenade, so that good stuff. All right, cool. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. Motion. Cool. All right. Um, wait, 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 wait. Camouflage face. Um, I like that one better. Uniform. Uh, hmm. Flectarn. What is that? Okay. 85. And right, not bad. All right. Cool. All right. What is going on, everybody? <laughs> Omni Big Game here. We are continuing with Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Um, I don't know if you guys realize, but the remake to this one, all right, is coming out in November. So, just in time for me to reintroduce to the world of the game that I truly love, um, Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, Snake Eater, all right? Um, hmm. I don't know, I saw that on my uh, radar. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Alright. Uh, before we continue, we are 274 strong, close to a million inch of day. Love you guys. Appreciate it. Alright, if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're not new to this channel, welcome back. Alright. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. It helps the channel a lot. Let us continue, shall we? Ah. Got a reticulated squirrel. <laughs> a reticulated chipmunk. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, Simpsons. No, no. All right. I like to use the knife. Um, I hate when a knife has a power bar, like in the um, as in even four remake, because of the fact that. In reality, it's not going to break like that unless if you use and abuse it. All right. Cool. So I also learned something today. All right. Um, hold on a second. Food. All right. So flying squirrel, reticulated python. All right. These are toxic. I believe. All right. Those are toxic. This is not. All right. Um, if they are rotten, all right, for whatever reason, all right, um, you could actually throw it out, all right, um, and use it to take out an enemy, all right. Um, I didn't realize that, and yeah, <laughs> um, that's the first time I've run it. I'm gonna try that in this uh, playthrough. You also voted on, okay, uh, before we, oh, wait a minute. There we go. All right, before we continue, uh, also, um, you guys voted, all right? Uh, the first boss of this game is the Fury, all right? And every boss that you fight, if I use the tranquilizer darts to take down their stamina, all right, I can get their camouflage, all right? Um, I don't think I ever gotten the Sorrows uh, camouflage. I don't know, uh, but there is a way, all right? So, I mean, we're, yeah. F uh, we're so early in the game, I'm not gonna even worry about that, but just the same. Um, I've been researching, and um, you guys voted. We are going to get the camo for each character, and uh, yeah, let's do this.
Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Boss. That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. <laughs> Boss! <sighs> I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. Hmm. The border is That's 60 creepy, miles bro. south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? Hmm. You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. <laughs> Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. Yes. If we meet again, I'll kill you. <laughs> now, go home. Damn. <laughs> she smashed his hand with a freaking horse. <laughs> this is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians. That she double cross us like this. Double cross That's us. That's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's <laughs> not the problem. In well, terms damn. of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. All right, this is this is where this is where Snake Eater starts. You know, 
All right, let's continue, shall we? Okay, I went to there now. Yep. Okay. I think I saw something. Huh? I guess I'm seeing things. <gasps> What's this? HQ. HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Man, I wish I knew where they at. Okay, they're right in front of me. two of them obviously the one on the left and there's one in the middle right there he's coming now I think something What's that noise I never tried this before to be honest with you nothing here Where did the other guy go? I'm just gonna wait for the countdown to go because um when I first played this and I played it afterwards all right, I never was really careful. I want to be able to just stealth the hell out of this uh, this um, game. I feel like Rambo I just had my knife. Minus the bow and arrow. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four. Come on. Cool. HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. No problems detected. Understood. Return to your position. I wish I knew where they were at. Okay, I see him. I'm just waiting for him to turn around. And I only see one person there, so...
sweet. Alright, it is what it is. Sight of the intruder going into high alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage. Who's that? Damn. Okay, okay, okay. Not good, not good. This is, uh, we're off to a bad start, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. I went into a circle. see anything guess I'm seeing things you are HQ HQ this is HQ patrol here we've lost sight of the intruder going into high alert acknowledged the enemy is still nearby pursue and engage him Jeez. What the? Oh god. Cool, I just got bitten by a snake. Paramedic. Snake, it's so good to hear from you again. Same here. It's been a week, hasn't it? Four days, actually. Huh. I visited you in the hospital. You were... That's not what I'm talking about. Snake, unlike the virtuous. Are you serious right now? Okay. All right, cure screen. Uh, serum into the uh, neutralizer toxins. There you go. Okay. Rattlesnake. Okay. Now I, I'm just trying to figure out where to go now. 
It's a, it's a little confusing. Especially at night time. I'm going in a freaking circle. What the hell? Okay. Let me eat something. So this is the swamp from before. And if I remember correctly, I'm gonna be greeted by some alligators. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Bro. Okay, 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 okay. The only reason why I'm going through there is because of the fact that there is um items in there. <laughs> I like the fact that birds fly because of the fact that that's that's real to true life because of the fact that if he was going through areas like that, right, they will fly away. And that is a way the enemy can detect you, so. So I'm having a hard time trying to find this area. It's been a while since I played it, obviously. All right. But it's always confusing because of the fact that they don't tell you, hey, go north, go left, you know, so forth. So it's trial and error. Which way, though? <laughs> That's the thing. Which way? Actually, you know what? No. Now I know. I know where to go now. Should be getting close to my objective. Nope, this is where <laughs> I was before. What the hell? There we go. All right. 
I don't, I'm not even gonna go into pronounce that or try to pronounce that. <laughs> Too bad I don't even have. I don't have any weapons whatsoever. It stinks. Oh well. I have to rely on courage and instincts. Anything I should be able to go to the same spot and maybe find another maybe find a weapon. Hopefully. Shaft grenades, nice. All right, so you cannot find another weapon here, unfortunately. Uniform raindrop, okay. All right, so I'm glad this is happening because this is where you see stamina plays a huge role. So you can see uh, Snake here slouching like that, all right. Um, he's exhausted. If you look in the top left hand corner, you're gonna see my stamina bar is not looking pretty good. All right. So what we gotta do? We gotta do. We gotta eat. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta, we gotta eat. We gotta eat. Pretty tasty. All right. And I'm not gonna use that. Um. For some reason they do they do that for some reason. works <laughs> all right and he's back to his normal self cool all right let us continue shall we his, his uniform looks like an ocp uniform <laughs> all right can i get more stuff from him i think if you drop him twice or a couple of times yep look at that bam grenade to full all right not a problem. Let us fit. Okay. So, I'm going to stop right here. Because I think I, t I took too much time looking for um, the new objective and everything. But just the same. Um, yeah, this is where the fun begins, and this is where we're going to learn a whole bunch of stuff. So, until then, guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and comment. 274 strong, close to a million each every day. Love you guys. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.